Welcome back. So I added reshower to my Visual Studio. So I just wanted to give you guys a very short introduction to that. Um, so reshower is a tool built by uh, JetBrains. And uh, since I'm a teacher, I can get it for free. Um, so if you're not a teacher, you might want to pay for it. Um, but I really like reshower for Visual Studio. It just helps you make easier shortcuts, renaming. There's a lot of features that's just simpler with reshower. And it's pretty simple to get it uh, if you actually... You can get a 30-day trials no matter what. So you just download it and you'll get a small installer here. You run that installer and pretty much just default all the way. So there's really nothing uh, worth talking about there. I'll just try and do it here again just to see if I can do it, install it again to show you. It takes a bit of time to install it and the first time after when you restart your Visual Studio, expect a delay. It's going to eat a bit more memory, so that's the price. But you're getting so many cool features from Reshopper that I just, I just like to use it. It just helps me out a lot. So from now on when you see me code, I actually have Reshopper behind the scenes. I just wanted you to know that. But this is pretty much how it, it goes. Normally it was just say install here. Uh, let me just zoom a bit. So it would say install here. And uh, you could also install all of these guys if you wanted to. .cover, .peg is kind of a way for us to unassemble or deassemble, decompile our code if you want to. .trace is a way for us to figure out uh, performance. .cover is a way for us to figure out unit testing, how much did we cover in unit testing. And C++ is if we want to do development in C++. I just added the, the reshaper guy up here and just you just select install and then you press install here. That's pretty much all you have to do. After a bit of time, it'll pop up uh, telling you it's installed. And if you are a student yourself, then you can actually go into JetBain's student, or if you're a teacher for that matter, uh, and you can actually go in here and, um, and apply. Under student, you can go in and apply. If you're a student, student or teacher, you can apply for a free license for a year. And, and there are other ways you can go in and apply for a free license. Um, but I just want to show you uh, Reshaber. Let's, uh, let's just show you, I just want to show you this in action, how to use it. When you've installed it, it'll, the first time it starts, it'll pop up and ask, what kind of shortcuts do you want to use? I just chose Visual Studio default ones. If you're from IntelliJ world or something like that, then they also have a default set for that. But the Visual Studio one is the one I chose. Um, but here, you're getting a new menu up here where you can um, do a lot of different, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can, you can talk about how the intelligence should actually work, what should happen, you can, there's so much you can do here. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna go into all of this. Um, but the cool thing is it starts helping you. So if I wanna get something now, let's say I wanted to get my person class here, it will help me get that right away. It's just easier to work with. Let me just remove this entities class and, and try to get the person's class again. Before I would have to write the entire class, now it will, IntelliSense helps me uh, using Reshopper to actually get there quicker. So I encourage you to use Reshopper if you want to. Again, it, it comes with a price. You have to install it. it takes more memory. And if you don't, if you're not a student or a teacher, then you will probably have to pay at some point. But you have 30 days free trial. So go and install it if you want to. See you in the next lesson where we'll start making some layering, some architecture inside our application. See you next time.